The owner of one of the homes in Indianapolis that exploded says a problem furnace could be to blame. But investigators still haven't determined a cause for Saturday night's blast. So far, much of the investigation has focused on natural gas. But a utility spokeswoman says workers haven't detected any leaks yet in the neighborhood. The blast forced about 200 people out of their homes. Officials met with homeowners on Monday to discuss the status of their houses. It's estimated about 30 homes will need to be demolished. In order to access their house, the resident is going to be escorted by a firefighter and a person from code enforcement um, to make sure that they can go in, they can grab what they need, they're going to have an hour, and then uh, they'll be taken back out. The blast flattened the house that had a furnace problem and the house next door that belongs to second grade teacher Jennifer Longworth and her husband John. The coroner's office hasn't yet identified the two people killed in the blast. But the school superintendent says school officials assume the Longworths were the victims because no one has heard from them. She understood that uh, her mission was to help kids grow and, and improve with their achievement. And uh, she was what we want to see in all of our teachers, just a wonderful love and, and, and caring attitude. The blast sparked a massive fire, blew out windows and collapsed ceilings. It also shook homes up to three miles away. Bianca Davy, Associated Press.